You will almost certainly have heard of Microsoft Teams. It's become one of the tools that we've used during the COVID-19 pandemic to enable us to communicate better, but you may not be aware of what else you can use it for. Microsoft Teams provides a great deal of collaboration features and this video is going to show you how you can use it to replace your traditional file server as well as use some of those collaboration features. So if you open up the Microsoft Teams application, you notice that there are a variety of icons down the left hand side and the one we're concerned with for this video are the Teams. So Teams are, as the name suggests, teams of people so you can break these up into your organizational structure or based on project it's it's entirely up to you really but when you create a team uh, you basically um, specify what the permissions are for that team so who can access it is it private so you have to specifically add people to that uh, team for them to be able to get to it is it a public team so anybody can join or is it an organization wide team and that basically means that it's automatically added to people's teams so the type of team you create depends on really what type of, um, of team it is you know if it contains sensitive information you want to keep it private if it's for something for everybody to see you create an organization wide one um, so we already have some teams created here um, so if we go to the technical team and then into general we'll see at the top here we've got a files uh, icon or tab so this are the, these are the files for this particular team so this is where it gets really cool with um, being able to uh, use uh, the files to, to collaborate so basically um, files that you create here within uh, channels which we won't get into in detail but you can create separate channels are basically SharePoint sites and again we won't get into too much detail about that but effectively what it means is Teams and SharePoint are working together um, to, to enable the collaboration. So if I want to add somebody to this team I uh, click on the, um, the ellipsis here and then add a member and then I can add um, whoever I want to so I'm going to add support dude to the team and then he becomes a member of that team and he can subscribe to uh, to that particular team and channel so switching over onto the uh, computer for the user that we just created the uh, or added to the team we can see here in the activity team that I added uh, this this person to the technical team and if we go into teams we can see the technical team is here we can expand that go into general and into the files and yep a little bit of an error there but we'll ignore that and we can see here that uh, the, the, the files that were available in that team in that team channel are now available for that particular user so if I basically um, over here I can create a new file and we'll call it a test file and it will open up the web-based version of Word in Teams that will allow me to, to edit that so um, I can type in there And then if we switch to the other computer, we do a little refresh here. We see that test file that we just created by our support dude um, is uh, now available here. I can open it through Teams and actually um, see the, the changes that were just made. So we can see uh, at the top here, we've got a little SD icon. So that's the initials of support dude. And uh, it says that they have, have this document open. Uh, and we can actually see whereabouts in that document that they are. So um, if I now remain on this screen and go to the support dude screen that you can't actually see and start typing, Uh, 
uh, we can see in live in real time support we can see the edits that are being made by the other user as uh, my user over on this side I can actually edit this I can correct any mistakes and we can work on the document in real time and actually see what the other person is doing if I add a comment here and then send it that comment will appear immediately on the other person's screen so switching to the other screen you can see the comment as it's appeared here I can reply to the comment and again that will immediately be displayed on the other user's screen or everybody else using the, that document actually and here I can see the initials MY because I am editing this document on my computer so we can see who, who are working on this document so you can see and this goes for all of the office applications um, so you can see you actually collaborating in real time on these documents which is pretty cool what you can also do to make it a bit more of a traditional experience for people who are used to working from for servers and shared folders and map drives and things like that is we can actually synchronize the files from the team down to the actual computer itself so in the team itself we click sync and we get a pop-up and we are going to say yep yeah, we'll use the existing folder syncing the team's general channel to the computer if I open file explorer on the computer we can see we have a new uh, icon for our company name and we can see we've got the technical file with a test file that we created earlier I can double click this and open it up in Word so once the file opens in Word we can see here it's checking for changes to the file uh, so he's checking on SharePoint and we can also see up here that um, somebody else is editing the, the file support dude is, is actually editing this file uh, if I go to um, the actual page uh, on the support dude uh, screen and then start to make edits we can see these appear in real time so this is actually me typing into the document as another user um, and those edits are in real time again I can I can also add things and it will appear on that person's screen so again the real-time collaboration continues even when you use the desktop versions of Word and we can do this for all of the teams that we have available so if we see here go back to teams if we want to synchronize these down to our local computer we can simply um, go into the team and the channel into files and then hit sync OneDrive connects and it synchronizes our folder so we go back to our file explorer and we can see now we have company wide uh, again do it for all of the teams then so, this basically is a way for organizations to replace the traditional server by using uh, Microsoft 365 um, and it's very simple to use and actually quite intuitive uh, but it adds a lot more benefits around collaboration i hope you found this video useful you can find more technical insights at our website at blistech.co.uk thank you